Have you ever seen the engineering skill tree? No, you haven't because it never existed until now. Let's take a look. We start with a foundation in math. Above that is where we start to differentiate between stem branches. See, some people choose to study math. Some take a left turn into chemistry and biology, focusing on research or potentially heading into medicine with anatomy and a whole lot more. For those with an interest in digital logic, they might take a hard right turn into pure computer science. But somewhere in between these two exits, you have the multi-lane interstate that is engineering and all its branches. Engineering is founded off of skills in physics. Over here on the left, we're branching off from thermodynamics and picking up skills in reactions and fluid mechanics, leading to a specialization in chemical engineering. Straight up the middle, we have skills in solid mechanics and statics, building into a mechanical engineering degree, which along with fluid mechanics becomes aerospace engineering. Off to the right, if you had a particular interest in all those mechanical engineering skills, but applied to human bodies, you've built yourself a skill tree of biomedical engineering. Here we have skills in statics and CAD, growing into a civil engineering skill tree, and in the middle, skills with all things material and their application in engineering leads to a material science engineering degree. On the far right, building up from computer science and adding in computer architecture and algorithms, you build skills to a software engineering tree. Adding signals and power systems to those skills, we have computer engineering. And leaning deeper into power systems and circuits at the top here is electrical engineering. There are more interactions than I've represented here in Marker, but if you think this is a good starting point, let me know in the comments. And follow Future Chemie for engineering info daily.